Hi everyone, for those of you just joining, my name is Chelsea and I'm both a librarian and a yoga instructor here at Brock. For today's library yoga session, we're going to be moving through the body from head to toe, trying to really bring some mindful movement into our day to center ourselves and maybe let go of any stress that might be creeping in as we are in the middle of midterm season right now. So we're gonna start in a seated position. You can start either seated in a chair like me or perhaps on the floor, whatever's most comfortable for you in your workspace today. If you're seated in a chair, we'll sit close to the edge of the chair so we can sit up nice and tall and ground our feet down underneath our knees. Take a moment to roll your shoulders back wherever you are and lift up through the crown of the head. You can gently either lower your gaze to the ground or maybe close your eyes if it feels comfortable. Just taking a moment to observe how your body feels as it settles into this posture if there are any areas of tension or tightness, any small movements you can make to get a little more comfortable. From your body, notice how your breath feels, if it's fast or slow, if it's deep or shallow, and noticing where you feel it the most, maybe in your belly, your chest, or maybe just moving in and out through your nose. And then from your breath, bring your attention to how your mind is moving. Notice what your thoughts are doing. If they're racing around, if there are any strong feelings attached to them, just notice where your headspace is at right now. And then gradually bring your attention back to the breath, feeling your breath moving through your body. And we're gonna take three nice deep breaths in. We're gonna breathe in through the nose, and then we're gonna breathe out through the mouth through pursed lips. So this is called pursed lip breathing. And this is often very calming in times of really high stress. So what it looks like is almost whistling without making a sound or blowing out through a straw. So it looks something like this. And it allows you to really draw out the breath. So if you're with me, you can return to keeping your eyes closed here. We'll take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And then breathe out through pursed lips. Really drawing out that breath. Two more times like that. We'll breathe in. And breathe out through pursed lips. One more time, deep breath in. And out through pursed lips. As you return to normal breathing, just observe any differences in your breath. Maybe your inhalations have become a little more spontaneous and deeper. And notice how your body and your mind have responded to just a few deep breaths. Sometimes they're all the reset we need in the course of the day. And with that, we'll take one more deep breath in, rolling the shoulders up towards the ears this time. And as we exhale, we'll take them down and flutter the eyes open and we'll get moving. So we're gonna start by just gently drawing some circles with the nose. So we'll take the nose up towards the ceiling, around the side, down to the bottom, and up and around the other side. We'll try to sync this up with the breath. As we take the nose down, we'll exhale. And as we move up and around, we'll inhale. Take one more in this direction. And then up at the top, we'll gently switch. Gently waking up the neck. Maybe relieving some stress. Take one more circle around. And we'll pause at the bottom 
Gently tucking the chin towards the chest, feeling that release in the back of the neck. Take a nice deep breath in here. And exhale, we'll roll it up. Wonderful. We'll start now to roll the shoulders up and back. Do this a few times in one direction. And then we'll go ahead and switch directions. As I said at the start, we're gonna be working our way from the head down to the toes. So really moving through the whole body methodically today. We'll go ahead and relax the shoulders and now we'll extend the right arm out to the side. Really reach that arm out. You'll start to feel a stretch all across the top of your arm here. And then gently, we're gonna tip the head away from that arm. This can be a very intense experience. So please move within your own range of comfort. Don't push to the point where it makes you kind of want to scream out in pain or clench your fist. Just a nice gentle stretch and opening here. We'll take a deep breath in. Maybe breathe out with pursed lips. On your next inhale, take your head up. And this time, take your gaze over towards the left. So we're just getting a different range of motion here. You might start to feel this stretch in a bit of a different spot now. And then from here, we'll gently tip the chin down towards that left shoulder. So we're getting that nice stretch now, maybe in behind the right shoulder blade, in the back right side of the neck. Sometimes, I know for me, I get like a really intense sort of kink in my neck when I've been working or I've been really stressed for quite some time. And this is a beautiful stretch for that area. Take one more inhale. And exhale, we'll release it all. Maybe roll the shoulders quickly one way and the other. And then we'll go ahead and extend that left arm out to the side, reaching it really nice and long. Start to feel that stretch across the top of the arm, the forearm. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and tip the head away from the arm. Oh my goodness. You might feel it more on one side than the other. I really feel it on this side today. Just try to maintain a nice, steady, smooth breath through this process. Being aware of the physical sensation, feeling that effort in the stretch, but bringing that sense of ease through the breath. We can breathe through anything. We'll take one more inhale. We'll exhale here, here with pursed lips. Inhale, we take the head up. And as we exhale, now we just take the gaze towards the right. So we're moving the head in a bit of a different direction here, twisting the neck. Often when we're spending time on our computers, we're never really looking over our shoulder. We're not moving in this kind of way. So it can be really nice to do. And then gently drop the chin towards the right shoulder. And this might be just a tiny amount. That's totally fine. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale, we'll release. Wonderful, maybe take one more roll through the shoulders here. And then on your next inhale, we're gonna reach all the way up. We'll interlace the palms together and reach on up, lifting up out of the waist, sitting as tall as you can possibly sit. We'll take one more inhale here and then exhale, keeping the chest lifted. We're going to release the hands and draw the elbows down and back. So we're making a big cactus shape, feeling our shoulder blades squeezing back towards each other here. On your next inhale, we reach all the way up and exhale, cactus the arms down. One more time like that, inhale and exhale. Nice, we'll release the hands down to the legs. With an inhale here, we lift the chest, maybe lift the gaze, engage your core a little bit here. And exhale, round it back. You can slide your hands forwards along your legs, tucking your chin towards your chest. Inhale, we scoop it forwards, lift the chest, lift the gaze. And exhale, round it back. Become absorbed with the movement and your breath and how they sync up together. Inhaling as we open things up, and exhaling as we round it back. We'll do one more of these. Open and closing it up. 
slowly we'll roll our way back up. And we'll take our hands together, just gently rolling out the wrists here. We'll roll in one direction, and then we'll switch directions. It takes a little bit of thought. You can keep doing this switching one way and then the other. As we move our way down through the body, it can be really important, especially for those of us working on computers a lot, to stretch out the wrists. Okay. We'll go ahead and release. You can shake out the wrists a little bit. And we'll start by taking the hands in front of us, making stop signs with our hands. Inhale as we flex our hands back towards our faces. And exhale, we flip them down. Inhale, take them up. Exhale, take them down. One more time. Inhale, take them up. Exhale, take them down. We'll go ahead and shake it out a little bit. And then we'll make a stop sign with the left hand, bringing the right hand towards the fingers, gently, very gently pressing them back to get a little bit of a deeper stretch through the forearm here. Again, we're not really forcing anything. We just want to be gently encouraging that stretch. On your next exhale, we'll go ahead and flip and gently press the hand the other way. We'll go ahead and release. We'll do that other side. Take that right hand gently, press the fingers back. Take a nice deep breath in here. And then exhale, we flip it down and press it back. Gently release, shake it out. And one more wrist stretch here. If you reach your hands out in front of you, point your fingers towards each other so your palms are facing you. From here, you can curl your fingers in and start to curl your fists in. They won't come very far. They'll look something like this. I, I like to call these gorilla arms but you'll feel this beautiful stretch across the back of your forearm. This is a really tricky spot to stretch and it can feel really good when you've been typing all day. With an inhale, we'll stretch it out, wiggle your fingers, stretch them out nice and wide. And one more time, curl it all in, make those nice gorilla arms. And release, shake it out. Awesome job. From here, we're going to get a little more dynamic and move our way down into the lower body. So if you're seated in a chair, we're gonna widen our stance here. So you can take your feet a little wider apart. This will be dependent on the clothing that you're wearing today. Um, even the chair that you're sitting in, if you're in a rolly chair, exercise some caution so the chair doesn't roll out from under you. If you've been seated on the floor, you're welcome to make your way up to a standing position, take your feet nice and wide, and come down into the foundations for goddess pose. So your feet are wide, your toes are pointing out. This will be a lot more demanding on your legs. So if you have a chair, you are welcome to grab your chair. From here, we'll start with an inhale, reach our arms up nice and wide, nice and high rather, and then exhale, take the elbows, down to come in towards goddess pose. From here, we're going to twist with the core, so we're not using our hands at all here, twisting towards the right. And then we come back to center. So we'll inhale at center and exhale towards the left. Inhale at center, exhale towards the right. Inhale. Exhale. One more on each side, inhaling at center, exhaling to the side, increasing that mobility through the spine, engaging the core. If we're standing, whew, go ahead and release. If you're standing, feel free to shake out your legs. I know it can be really hard to hold that for quite some time. And whenever you're ready, we'll come back into this shape. From here, We'll start with our hands on our knees. We're just gonna gently dip the right shoulder down towards center. It doesn't need to come very far. You can bend your elbow, whatever feels best for you here. Just encouraging that twist a little bit deeper. Breathe in here. As we inhale, we come back to center and exhale, we switch dipping the other shoulder down. So through all of this with the wide stance, we're opening up our hips which can get very tight when we're sitting for quite some time. 
And if we're standing, we're also really strengthening those leg muscles. All right, we'll come on back up. Again, shake out your legs if you're in a standing posture here. It can be very challenging. With an inhale, we'll reach up one more time all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, we're going to open our arms out nice and wide. From here, we're going to shift our weight into side angle. So you can walk your left foot out to the side. Your hips might rock a little bit forwards on your chair. You can go ahead and bring your right elbow to the top of your right leg and reach your left arm up and over. If you're standing, you can start in your goddess pose. Just spin your back foot in at a 45 degree angle and then you can bring your forearm down to the top of your leg. Again, very easy to do this in a chair, limited space in your workspace, no problem. Take a nice deep breath in here. You want to make a nice long line from your left hand all the way down to your left toes. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale here. Inhale, we come on up, reaching the arms nice and wide. This is a warrior position here. And then we'll gently drop that left hand down, reaching that right arm up and over. Getting a nice full body experience here. Notice the sensations. Be mindful of the sensations. What do you feel in your legs, in your torso, your arms? Inhale, we make our way back up. And exhale, we release the arms. Can bring the knees back in, maybe towards center if you've been seated on a chair. It can be tough to hold that for a while too. You can gently just kind of wiggle your knees from side to side. If you're standing, go ahead and shake things out. And then when you're ready, we'll go ahead and resume this wider stance. So again, we'll inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And exhale, reach them out nice and wide. This time, we'll take that right foot, we'll wiggle it out, walk it out towards the side. So it'll be pointing in maybe at a 45 degree angle. Same deal if you're standing in your goddess pose, you can spin that foot to come down at a 45 degree angle. We're reaching those arms nice and wide. This is our warrior stance. And then we gently bring that left forearm to the top of the left leg, reaching that right arm up and over a nice and long line all the way from the right fingertips down to the right foot. A full body experience here. We'll take a nice deep breath in and out. Inhale, we come on up through our warrior pose, bringing that right hand down to the right leg, reaching that left arm up and over into our exalted warrior posture or dancing warrior. I've heard that too. I like dancing warrior. We'll take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, we come on up and release the hands. You can release the legs, shake them out a little bit. Get some energy down into the feet. You can tap your heels. You can sort of bounce your legs. Get some energy down into the feet. When we're sitting for quite some time, often we kind of neglect the feet. Okay. From here, if you're seated in a chair, we want to sit again. Make sure we're close towards the edge of our seat. Our feet are just underneath our knees. We're going to make our way into a chair pose. So if you're standing, you can make your way from standing as well. But if you're in the chair, we're just going to pick ourselves up out of our seat and hold it right here. So now we're all having this opportunity to really engage our legs. Make sure your knees are right on top of your ankles. They're not sort of knocking in or out to the side. You want to keep them right in line. Maybe you want to bring your hands to center. Take a nice deep breath in. On your exhale, we're going to bring the left hand, the back of the hand to the outside of that right knee, twisting, opening that right arm up towards the sky. If at any point this is feeling like, oh my gosh, I didn't sign up for this, this is too much, you can sit down in your chair and do this as well. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale, we'll come back to center. And then very quickly, we'll do the other side. Bring the back of the right hand to the outside of the left knee, 
reaching that left arm up towards the sky. A nice twist, really engaging the legs. Deep breath in and bring it back and gently come back to seated. Wonderful. So if you're standing as well, we have one more posture that can be done seated or standing, and this is Eagle Pose. So this really gets down into the legs, it gets through the torso, it gets into the shoulders, it's a little bit of everything. So we'll start, if you're seated in a chair, by crossing the right leg over the left. If it's possible and it feels good in your body, you can tuck your right toes all the way around to the other side of your left leg, but this can put a little bit of torque on your knee and that's not always good. So be very careful about this. And then we'll go ahead and reach our arms up towards the sky, cactus our arms down, again, lifting the chest, getting that nice little opening action there. And then bring the forearms together, we're gonna cross the left elbow on top of the right. Maybe you rest your hands down on your shoulders. Maybe you bring the backs of your hands to touch. Maybe you can wrap your palms around to touch. This is our eagle pose. If you want to do this from standing, you can also do this standing. From your chair pose, you cross your right leg over your left, takes a little bit of balance. Cross the left arm over the right and sit back again like you're sitting in a chair. Takes a lot of effort in that standing leg. Wherever you are, think about reaching your elbows up and away from you. We'll take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna crunch it all in. This is very tricky if you're standing. Very big test of balance here. One more time, inhale, open it up. And exhale, round it down. We'll come back up, gently release, and we'll go ahead on the other side. So we'll cross that left leg over the right this time. Reach the arms all the way up with an inhale, and exhale, bring those elbows down. We'll bring them in towards each other, this time crossing the right elbow over the left, either bringing the hands to the shoulders, backs of the hands together, or maybe the palms wrap around to touch. Reaching those elbows up and away, Take a nice deep breath in, and exhale, we round it in. Inhale, we open it up, and exhale, we round it in. One more time, inhale up, and exhale, round it down. We'll slowly come on up, we'll unravel. And if you're standing, you can make your way down towards a seat. The last couple of postures here, will be very gentle opportunities to unwind a little bit. We'll take a nice deep breath in. If you're seated in a chair or on the floor, you can extend your legs a little bit farther in front of you, keeping a soft bend in your knees. On your next exhale, we're gonna fold forwards, draping the body down over the legs, letting the whole back body completely relax. Taking an opportunity now to breathe into your lower back, feeling it expand as you inhale and sink down as you exhale. The lungs expand in all directions, not just up into the chest. So consciously direct your breath into your back, allowing your attention to be absorbed by the sensation of your breath in your body. We'll take one more deep breath in and exhaling, we'll slowly roll our way up. You can use your hands maybe to support you, keeping your chin tucked until the rest of you is totally upright. From here, if you're seated in a chair, maybe you want your feet underneath your knees again. If you're seated on the floor, you can take any seated posture that's comfortable to you. We'll take a nice gentle twist, taking the left hand to the right knee. We'll bring the right fingertips behind us. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, and exhale, twisting towards the right. We're leading with the chest here, engaging the core. The twist is coming from you, not from your hands. 
Take a deep breath in and exhale. We unwind. We'll go ahead and switch sides. We'll bring that right hand to the left knee. Bring that left hand behind us on our seat. Inhale, sit up nice and tall and exhale, twist towards the left. One more deep breath in, and exhale, we unwind. We'll take the right ankle across the left thigh, sit up nice and tall, maybe start to inch the chest forwards toward the legs. If you're seated on the floor, you can actually lie back on your back, bring your knees in towards your chest, and then make this same shape, crossing your right ankle across your left thigh. You can interlace your hands around your left leg, sort of pull it in closer if it feels good. Just sort of introducing one last stretch into the hips here. We'll come back up, we'll switch. Crossing that left ankle across the right thigh. Make sure you're flexing your left foot here. It helps to engage the muscles in the leg. So we're reducing that torque that we might be putting on the knee. I know I've developed sensitive knees from doing this improperly sometimes. So if you're starting to feel it in your knee, that is a sign to ease off a little bit here. Inhale, sit up nice and tall and exhale. We're reaching forwards with the chest so we're not rounding the body here. We're really keeping the spine nice and long. Take one more inhale and exhale. We'll come on back, unwind. And in our seated posture, we'll go ahead and just gently lower our gaze or close our eyes one more time, just to check in, noticing how our body is feeling, how our breath is feeling. and how our mind is moving around. Notice if there are any changes in how your body, your breath, or your mind feels. Maybe your breath is a little deeper, a little slower. Maybe your thoughts and emotions are a little more calm. Just observe how you feel as a whole right now compared to how you felt at the very beginning. We'll take a nice deep breath in, bringing our hands to center. And exhale, gently bow our heads forward in gratitude for this time that we've spent together today. Let's slowly open our eyes. And I'll say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you next time.